Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric V. Tuber. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to integrate your Stream Deck with Unreal. And the reason that I wanted to learn how to do this is I've been showing you guys how to create blueprints for things like teleporting around my environment. And every time I make something where I'm adjusting what's happening in my environment, I'm using keys on my keyboard. Well, that didn't seem to be the right thing to do when I realized sitting right there in front of me was my Stream Deck XL. We're gonna dive into Unreal. I'm gonna show you how to create a blueprint for integrating your Stream Deck. Now, the reason that you would wanna do that is your Stream Deck gives you essentially unlimited number of keys that you can assign for various things. And some of the things that I'm doing with my Stream Deck now is using it to quit my application and I'm using it to teleport to different scenes and I'm also using it to start and stop videos in my environment. When I talk about teleporting around my environment, initially I was doing it by using keys on my numeric keypad. So if I type the number seven, I might switch to the third person character. If I type the number eight, I move to this environment. This slash here gives me a different camera angle and nine brings me right back here into the trailer. And all of those key assignments, well, I was running out of keys and so I set up my stream deck to take care of all that for me. So without further ado, let's take a look at how you can set that up. First, we need to start off with the stream deck. And when you go to your Stream Deck, there's a little plus right here, and that's where you can get to the various plugins for your Stream Deck. And if you click on Plugins, you wanna look for one called OSC. You can type either OSC or RME. Either way, you're gonna come up with this audio plugin, and you can see I've already installed it. So go ahead and install that in your Stream Deck. We're gonna come back to this in a moment, but one thing I wanna point out to you is that in this one right here, you'll notice that the IP address is this number and the port is this number. So when I show you the configuration and the blueprint, that's where I got these numbers from. All right, so now I'm in my Unreal environment, and if you haven't ever seen it before, I've got this construction trailer and I've got a big environment outside that I've been building. Let's pop back into the construction trailer. Now, if you've been subscribed to the channel, you know that most of the time when I've taught you guys how to create blueprints, we've done so by going up here and opening up the level blueprint. We're not going to do that this time. We're going to create a blueprint actor. So to get started, let's create a new folder where we're gonna put this blueprint. I'm just gonna come down to content, right click on my mouse and choose new folder at the top. And we'll call this blueprints. Now that I'm inside the folder, I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna to choose to create a blueprint class. Now by doing it this way and, and creating a blueprint class, we can use this blueprint in any level and that's why I did not create this blueprint by opening up the level, but this time using an actor. So I'm gonna create an actor and now I have my blueprint and we'll just call it Stream Dex. And I have that blueprint right here, I'll double click and open it. So now that I've got the blueprint open, this is the one that we are going to be creating today. And I'm gonna walk you through the entire process and explain why we're creating these nodes as best as I can. So the first node that we're going to create is the event begin. And if you're looking at the viewport, switch over to the event craft by clicking on this tab. You can draw a box around these two nodes and hit the backspace or delete key. And we're gonna start with event begin play. And off of that, I'm just clicking with my left mouse and dragging, I'm gonna to choose to print a string. And the reason that we're gonna do that is simply for debugging. So when the level starts, we are going to put the word hello in the top left corner. And if I compile that and click save, close this window, when I click play, you're gonna notice something, or I should say you're not gonna notice something, and that is the word hello did not appear up here in the top left corner. And the reason that it has not appeared is this is not a level blueprint. Had we done this inside the level blueprint, that would have happened when the level started. But this is an actor blueprint, so we need to bring it into the scene. So let me hit stop. And then I'm gonna drag this actor, and it doesn't matter where it goes in the level, but I am putting it inside my level. 
In fact, you might want to put it someplace that you're going to remember where it is, but that's where it is for right now. And if you'll notice, the name is over here in the right, which is why I gave it that name, so that if I'm ever looking at my list, I can see that that is where that actor is or even search for it by typing the word stream. Now when I click on play, you'll see hello in the top left corner. And that's because the actor is now in my level. Before we drop back into the blueprint, I wanna make sure that you guys go up to the edit menu and go down to plugins and check to make sure that the OSC open sound control plugin is turned on. I believe it is turned on for you, but just wanted you to double check because if it's not, it's not going to work. If it isn't checked right here, when you check it, you will need to restart Unreal. Now let's go back to the blueprint and continue our build. So the next node we're gonna create is for the OSC server. So I'm gonna right click in the window and type create OSC. And you'll see two options come up, create OSC server. If for some reason you don't, make sure that you uncheck context sensitive. Click on create OSC server. Now that you have that node, you can connect it from the print stream node. Now, by the way, you can delete this node later on. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, if you do delete it, then just make sure that you connect from the event begin play all the way to the OSC server if you do remove this node. Now, remember earlier I showed you the IP addresses. So we're gonna type in 127.0.0.1. And that's the IP address coming from the Stream Deck. And the port number was 7001, 7001. Now we wanna create a variable, and to do so, we're gonna right click on the return value little blue circle. And when you see the pop-up, choose promote to variable. Let's give this variable a name, and that is for the OSC server. So I'm just coming up here to the right and type in OSC underscore server. And we've now made that a variable to carry the value throughout our blueprint that we're getting from our stream deck. And you can see under variables right here, you've got this new component that's been added. The next node that we want to create is the bind node. And we're going to just click with our left mouse and drag out and type the word bind OSC message. Once we type bind OSC message down below, you'll see bind event to an on OSC message receive. Make sure that your white lines are connected from node to node. And in the next step, we're going to come off this event node. Now, this is really important that you pay attention, and this is one of the areas where I got stuck by watching other videos. If you just right-click here in the window and you type custom event to add a custom event and choose it, you will get this node. That is not the node that you want. So I'm going to delete that. And when I come off this time from here by clicking on the red square and type add custom event, notice I get a different looking node that's got the ability to send a message IP address and port. So it's really important that you left click off, off event when you add this custom node. To create our next node, left click off of the little arrow and type get OSC message at float index. This is the one we want right here. So now that we have get OSC message float at index, we need to add a multiply node. To add our multiply node, we just come off the value circle, left click, and type multiply. And choose that under the operator function multiply. Now, if you try to click compile at this point, notice you'll get some error messages, but don't worry about them for now. Now, the values coming over from the stream deck are floats, meaning that they are decimals or can contain decimals. And we need to change that so it's just an integer. And so we're going to type in this square right here, the number 100, so that we multiply by 100. And if you hold your mouse over value right here, you'll notice that it says float single precision, and it says float double precision. And we're going to continue on by adding another node. The next node we want to do is by dragging off, we're going to type round because we want to take it and round it. And if you'll notice now, by adding this node, we'll be sending an integer to the next node. For the next node, we're going to create the switch. And so we'll drag over here and type switch. And when you see switch on INT, which is short for integer, go ahead and choose that. 
Now we've set up all the critical nodes, except there's one key step that we want to make sure that we do is attach the white line from the get OSC message over to the switch on integer. So make sure that that is connected. And looking at my blueprint, I notice I didn't connect these two blue connecting points. So make sure that you do that. Then you can click compile and click save and you shouldn't see any error messages back up here. Once again, I need to connect the two message points and I'll go ahead and do that. Click on compile and click save. And now all of my nodes are properly connected. For my last step, I want to add some pins. And so I'm going to hit click plus. And the first one I'm going to use is zero. Now I can come right up here and change the value, but I'm going to leave zero for right now, which means when this blueprint receives the value zero coming from my stream deck, the next action will happen. So I'm going to drag a node out. And this time, once again, I'll use print, choose print string, and we'll leave hello in there. Before we test everything, there's one last thing that we have to do, and it may be one of the most important things, is right here, let me zoom in, there's a little box, start listening. Make sure that you turn that on by checking that box, then click on compile, and click on save. All right, so a quick little recap. When the level starts, we will see the word start. I've added start in the very first, but now I'm going to remove that. So I'm gonna hit delete, and I'm gonna connect this node directly over to the OSC server node. All right, we've got our IP address. We're in listening mode. Everything looks good. All of our little lines are connected. And now we just need to say what to do when we hit a key. Let's go with zero for print string. Let's add another pin, this time for the number one. And I will add a different print string this time. And we'll just say that is num one. All right, click compile, click save. If you wanna run the simulator, you can. We'll put the simulator looking at the stream deck, click on play. And now if we push our stream deck buttons, we can see the simulator in action. That's a good indication that everything should be working. I will close up the blueprint, click on save and save all. Go ahead and click play. Notice no more when the game starts, but if I hit the stream deck, we see the word hello. And if I push the other button, we see num1. The last thing we need to do is configure our Stream Deck. So the Stream Deck part is pretty easy. Let me show you what we have done. First of all, if you want to go up and type OSC, then you can bring over one of these little OSC control channels and drag it into an open slot. You want to give it a name, you can type what the text is going to be. So maybe this is exit and Notice we've got our IP address, our port. We want to change this from where it says input channel one to be an output channel. So if you see over here, I'm using output channel one for each one of these. So let's go to exit and change it to output channel one. Volume is correct. And the value that we want to send is we'll use the number one. All right. So basically what I've done, make sure I hit enter. And you might want to just check, make sure as you click away and click back that everything's still set there. So now when I push this button on my stream deck, it's going to send the value of number one. And once you've configured one of these nodes, you can simply right click, copy and paste, and then come into this one and change what you want the title to be. And what value you want to send. I'm going to delete that one because I don't need it for now. But now that I've got this trigger right here on my stream deck, which is sending the value one, let's go back into Unreal and back into our blueprint. And now where the number one is coming, instead of using print string, I'm going to go grab something that I had made in my level blueprint that I really want inside here. So let me go up to the level blueprint. And I had made a little blueprint for when I hit the X key to quit the application. And I made a little widget for some UI to do that. So I'm gonna drag a box around this and I'm gonna hit Control C 
and I'm going to disable the X key now. I'll just leave this here for now. Compile and save. So that won't run. But I'm going to go back into my Stream Deck blueprint, and now I'm going to paste in the exit application. And instead of using the X right here, I'm going to take the number one and drag that down. So when the Stream Deck sends the value number one, it's going to go through my exit application and by doing that, now I don't have to worry about that being in the level blueprint because anytime I drag this actor into a level, I'm going to be able to exit by using my Stream Deck. Let's hit play. And then let me push the button on my Stream Deck. And look at that. Awesome. Well, that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial learning how to integrate your Stream Deck with Unreal. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to do that. And I welcome any feedback. Drop a comment below. Is my pacing right for you guys? Is there anything else you want to learn? Did you try this yourself? And be sure to share your ideas. If you haven't already joined the Discord channel, that's another great place to interact with the Eric VTuber community and post questions and comments and show off your work. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.